This video references for the quadruped position or otherwise a 10 month position in development. It's basically hands and knees, right? And it's a developmental position that we do at about 10 months of age as babies. And it's a great way to teach some core stability principles so that we can build that up so that we can perform well in adult positions like squats, hinges, lunges, so on and so forth. So let's get right into it. Okay, so quadruped position, literally just hands and knees. So ideally your hands will be underneath your shoulders and knees underneath the hips, not too far away, not too close, not too wide, not too narrow, you get the point, okay? Now, first part is with here, it's a great position to understand and learn neutral spine. So to clarify, neutral spine is a position. It's different for everyone. It's finding your neutral because everybody, every body is different. So uh, we can use this position here to figure out what is your neutral. So what we do is we first go into an anterior pelvic tilt, otherwise known as a J-Lo booty, and then a plumber butt, which is the posterior pelvic tilt, and then we cycle through. J-Lo, plumber, J-Lo, plumber. And then once you get that feel a few times of that tilting, which by the way, you want to minimize the cat cow aspect of this in the mid back. You want to think that your belly button on up is stuck in cement and you're just moving at the belt line. It can be kind of tough for some people. So do your best. And then once you get that feel, stop where you feel is halfway in between. That is your neutral, right? Just to make sure you should feel your back muscles. They shouldn't feel like steel cables when you run your fingers across them. They should feel relatively relaxed, okay? It shouldn't look like this and feel tight. It shouldn't be like this, somewhere in between, all right? Now that we have the pelvic tilt, the next step is to start doing some rocking. So now rocking back and forth mimics the hip motion, knee motion, and ankle and foot motion, because my toes are tucked under, as like a squat, right? So doing this is similar to doing this. Right, so we'll go here and we'll simply rock back and rock forward. Now, what happens is when you rock back, the tendency is to plumber butt towards your heels. And then when you rock forward, the tendency is to J-Lo booty forward. So you have to actively correct your positioning as you rock back and rock forward. So I like to give the cue that you're holding a glass of wine on your back, or if you're underage, maybe a bowl of ice cream, whatever and you're maintaining that balance as best you can while you rock. So rather than doing this and letting that fall off the back or fall forward, I'm trying to keep that balance the entire time. Rock forward, rock back. So this is a great awareness drill, but it's also a great mobility drill for your hips, knees, ankle, foot, wrists, and your shoulders. Good. Next is pre-crawling, and before we do this, we're gonna make sure we have our breathing ideal. If you don't understand the core 360 breathing or how to create intra-abdominal pressure, go ahead and click up here for YouTube. We'll link a little video there so you can understand the breathing mechanism, which is basically how your core works, okay? So we'll hold here first, we'll breathe in, fill out the abdomen, breathe out. We'll try to feel for pressure in the back of your spine here. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, okay, now pre-crawling, what is that? That is before crawling. So what we'll do is first think about pressing your right hand and your left knee, so opposite arm, opposite leg, into the ground, and start pressing so hard where you feel that your left hand and right knee are almost levitating or hovering off the ground. Not literally, but you feel they're very, very light. You push hard, and then you slowly come back to neutral, and shift to the other side. So I'm transitioning into my left arm hand and right knee leg, where my right arm and left leg are nice and light, and then I'll slowly switch sides. Just holding this in neutral spine and shifting alone is challenging. And then you also want to breathe through it. And then once we have that feel, we can start to step forward where we'll push hard down with the left hand, right knee, push, keep breathing, and then start to slowly step forward and step back and step forward the opposite side and step back slow and controlled. Don't be surprised how challenging this is. All right. So 
That is the basic progression of the quadruped position, a part of a, a, a proper core stability program. Now we're gonna go into the more advanced movements you can use this position with to challenge things a little bit more, okay? So the first one we're gonna do is the bird dog. So a lot of people have heard of the bird dog movement, which is basically, it's that same pre-crawling opposite arm, opposite leg, but now we're going to reach forward and kick back with it. However, the problem is a lot of times people end up just really sloppy with this, where we do a lot of this, or we do this, and a lot of weird stuff, right? So we don't want to do weird stuff. So now that we have the pre-crawling down, that we're gonna be able to execute the bird dog much better. So like with the pre-crawling, we wanna first pick a side. I'm gonna push my right hand and left knee down really hard. I'm gonna breathe. And I'm gonna slowly control first, just reaching forward and making sure nothing else is moving except my left arm. Then I'm gonna slowly kick back with my right leg, making sure nothing else is moving but my right leg. I'll bring that back and then lastly, minimizing shift from side to side, I'm going to reach forward and kick the leg back, holding here and then slowly returning and trying to breathe at the same time. And I'll switch sides, right? Doing this without rotating or shifting or doing weird stuff with my body. Slow and control. So what the bird dog is training is essentially your X factor. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. It's called a contralateral pattern. Think of walking and running. And muscle wise, it's working everything from your pecs to your obliques, to your, your abs, to your opposite hips, so your glutes, and down to the leg. So working on this position is foundational for building up your ability to control higher positions, adult positions, like walking and running and so on and so forth. So we use the baby position as a foundation to build up the higher position, which are the adult movements. Next and last but not least, we're gonna to transition to the bear position. Now, once you can transition into bear well, we can start doing bear exercises. And again, on YouTube right here, we'll put a little link for all the bear variations that we have. So it's very simple. Once you're in that proper quadruped position, you find your neutral spine. You're simply going to lift your knees off the ground about six to 12 inches or so up into the air and hold. From this position, we'll hold that neutral spine, breathe into the abdomen, control, and then come back down. So the movement is very simple. It's simply elevating and descending, slowly controlling movement while breathing into the abdomen. If that becomes too easy, we can do a slew of other things in that position as well. Like I said, it's on the video, it's gonna be right here. Check that out.